This is Elja from the Crack Test Bus Podcast, back with another unboxing video for Motu Monday. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and click that bell for notifications if you like Mondays and Motus and everything else. Alright, Ethan may or may not be with me in this video again, we'll see. But today's episode is looking at... Beastman from the Masterverse uh, Revelation. Uh, finally getting, opening this guy up. Um, I've had it since Christmas and just haven't got around to doing a video like this for it. So finally going to open it up and add it to the collection. Uh, this was Wave 2, I believe. Uh, for the Masterverse. So it says, Beastman, the fearless feral force, spent his entire life fighting for Skeletor's evil causes. Using his brute strength and telepathic command of dangerous creatures to his master's advantage. With the magic gone from Eternia, Beastman serves Evelyn as her monstrous muscle in her search to repair the damage done in the final battle of Grayskull. So, open all the rest of them. They have Man at Arms, Tila, Beastman, and Spikor. Open those up on videos. If you want to watch those videos, go to our YouTube channel and search them up. They may be under the unboxing video section instead of the Mochi Monday file. So, if you want to check those out as well, talk about it. But today we're doing Beastman. So, open it up here. Take a look and see what we think. It's going to open up from the top. Makes it a little easier to take it out of the box. Over there. Over there. Oh, this whip's already flying out. So it does come with the whip that uh, was kind of like on the show. Um, he did come with a whip on original Beast Man, the vintage figure. He has several hand sculpts as well, uh, holding hands and probably fists and other things. So these are all. He's got a couple fist hands and another holding hand. And then kind of like a claw hand there. Let's see all those. Figure looks good. I don't think there's any. I have to cut the back. His arm is also stuck in there. So, like on all these Masterverse Revelation figures, they have all 30 points of articulation. Um, with this one, he's he's kind of how he looks after all the magic is gone from Eternia, where he's pretty much naked except the loincloth. Uh, the loincloth that it does come with is a kind of a, a bendable plastic and not a cloth or anything like that. Um, stretches legs out a little better, so he stands up. Um, this part of the fur is attached to his back, as opposed to his head. There, he is kind of bent over, hunched over. Um, he does come with the one claw hand and the other holding hand, which he can hold his whip. Let's see. He's got his hand. Maybe. 
There you go. So there he is holding his whip. It's a classic weapon that he has. Um, but if you don't want to put it in his hand on the side of his belt, there's a little spot where you can hook that into there. I believe you can wrap this up somehow. Maybe just do that. Yeah, it'll loop it around itself. That. Yeah. Stick it in this belt like that. So you can't hold it. He does hunch over even more if you want. And really hunched over. And then kind of squatted down even more. So he's very animalistic when he's hunched over. Otherwise, the figure looks good. The face sculpt is great. Look, looks great. Um, he's got some like battle scars on his chest as well, right there. Um, and what else? Yeah, the same movement on all the figures. Other than that, there's no other than his hand, extra hands that he has, and his whip. Not much else to the figure. Um, it would have been nice to have like his stuff before he like the first part of the show and then the second part of the show where he's like kind of the classic beast man with that fur over his uh, chest there that piece um, much like the vintage figures but other than that it's very show accurate um, the little fur on his back of his legs is nice and Coloring looks good. Everything looks really good on the figure. Just took me till now <laughs> to open it up and do the video for it. A bunch of other videos came ahead of it, I guess. But looks great. Now that I think wave two is now complete with this figure open. So I can really pose them all together with the wave two picture. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Take some pictures and I'll look posted for Motu Monday. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so when the video does drop uh, you'll be notified that it's out. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Patreon. All those links can be found at www.cracktasticplastic.com and uh, you can find our Amazon list there. Pretty much everything you can find about the podcast as well. So go to that. That will get you all the links there as well. All right. Talk to you guys later on the next one. Later.